Welcome back to UA Technical Solutions, this the part 7 of LG VRF Series 5 training course. In this video VRF refrigeration cooling mode cycles is explained. Color coding used for the pipe are shown as red refers to high pressure pipe. Yellow refers to high pressure liquid, blue color refers to low pressure vapor pipe. Please note the symbols used for the following parts to understand the cycle diagram. Refrigerant enters the compressor at low pressure and discharges into the oil separator from top of the compressor with high pressure and temperature. Oil flow from the bottom of the separator back to the compressor due to oil particles are heavier than gas. And refrigerant discharge from top of the separator passing through a check valve. High pressure and sensors are installed along the line. Please note normally there is only one four-way valve available. Units with two four-way valve are used where heating and cooling is required at the same time. From oil separator refrigerant goes to four-way valve if the unit is running in cooling mode then four-way valve will send the gas to the condenser coil. Please note there are two condenser coils differentiated as upper outdoor and lower outdoor. In case the refrigerant temperature is higher than required then for extra condensation active path valve will open and allow the gas to pass via lower outdoor coil. At liquid line of each condenser coil, there is an electronic valve which is used to control the refrigerant flow going to the indoor units. Before refrigerant finally go to indoor units it passes through heatsink coil, which is used to dehumidify the control panel and also it branches via a solenoid valve to the liquid receiver. This valve is only open when there is low gas in the system. After passing through the subcooling circuit refrigerant enters the indoor unit controlled by the electronic expansion valve. Returning from the indoor unit via suction pipe to the accumulator and then supplied to the compressor from bottom of the accumulator. From the bottom of accumulator an oil return line is branched into the compressor suction line for the oil to return. Thanks for watching please subscribe us at UA Technical Solutions. Let us know in the comment section the topics of your choice to make this channel more relevant to you.